imagine now that you're in the city of Medina, that blessed city. It's the year 11 after Hijra, and our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa early, he has just passed away. And the Shia of Imam Ali alayhi salam, they're being forced to pledge allegiance to the new ruler. I want to know if you were in that situation, what would you do? For example, would you speak out against this? Potentially putting your life and the lives of your loved ones at risk? Or perhaps would you do taqiyya and give bay'ah and help the Ahl al-Bayt in secret? What do you think you would do? I think I would personally speak out and try as much as I can to get more people to follow Ahl al-Bayt. Even if I get hate or something, even if people try hurting me or my family, I would be honoured to be hurt just for Ahlul Bayt and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for the sake of Allah as well. Because I'm trying to, you know, um, get as much people as much as I can to follow the Islam. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, our master, Amir al-Mu'mineen, alayhi salam, doesn't he famously say, the truth has left me with few friends. And what an honour indeed it is for us every day in our lives to defend the Ahl al-Bayt, alayhi salam. I want you now to picture that you're standing outside the house of Fatima to Sahra, alayhi salam. Of course, this is a blessed place where the revelation from heaven used to come down. And our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa early, he used to go there and he would greet Fatima to Zahra by kissing her hands and hugging her. He would cuddle his grandchildren, show his family so much affection. I want you to imagine that you see the enemy troops come towards the house and you hear that the threat is made and Fatima to Sahra alayhi salam she refuses them entry I want you now to imagine that the door has been pushed and you hear the cry of Fatima and you see that the house is now being set on fire how would you feel seeing such a sight like that and how do you think you would react? Just thinking about it is so difficult and the fact that I will be there, I wouldn't know what to do and at that moment I would wish that I was in the place of Fatim Tizara alayhi salam. I don't know if any of us would know what to do in that situation. 
And I understand what you say when you say that you wish that you could be in her place. I feel like I would say the same thing too. I want you to imagine now that the attack is over. And now you're walking inside the house and you see Fatima to Sahra alayhi salam on the ground and she's in so much pain and her children Al Hassan Al Hussein, Zainab and Um Kulfum, they're so disturbed by what they've seen, they're crying, they want their mother to get up. How do you think you would comfort them to make them feel better? I don't know. Because they were young and they would see their mother. And it's something really traumatizing that for me, if my mom, if I see my mom crying, that burns my heart. And the fact that Imam Hussain alayhi salam, Imam Hussain, Sayyidah Zainab, and Sayyidah Um Kulthum saw their mom being attacked like that, it's just, I, I don't know what to say. I wouldn't know whether to go to say the say the Fatima Zahra alayhi salam, whether to comfort the children. It'd be so difficult. You can't imagine what went through the minds of those children. To lose our own mothers would be heart-wrenching and unthinkable. But to imagine losing a mother like Fatima to Sahra alayhi salam, there is no words for it. And we know that these children, they never forgot her. We know that Imam al Hussein alayhi salam on the day of Ashura, all he could think about was his mother Fatima. Finally, my dear sister, I want you to imagine that again you're in Medina, but this time you are walking beside Imam al Zaman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hasten his reappearance. I want you to imagine that you are walking beside him and you say to him, Yabna Rasulullah, where are you taking me? And he says to you, I'm taking you to the grave of my grandmother Fatima to Sahra alayhi salam. This blessed grave, a garden from Jannah, that we don't know where that grave is. I want you to imagine that you're standing in front of that grave now. And if you could say anything to Fatima to Sahra alayhi salam, anything at all, what would you say to her? I would be so speechless because I'm standing in the in front of the grave, Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam. The only thing that I would do is cry, because I would never imagine myself next to her grave, and anyone would wish to be next to her grave, and. Subhanallah, it's I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
gives us that chance and answers that dua, that burning wish within our hearts to be next to Our Lady, alayhi salam. I thank you so much, sister, for joining me today on Imagine. I thank you so much for your bravery and your love of the Holy Family, alayhi salam. And I pray sincerely that Our Lady, Sayyidatul Nisa al Alameen, I pray that she is pleased with you and your efforts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us steadfast and firm on the path of the Ahlul Bayt alayhim wassalam through whatever difficulties may arise in our lives. And may he hasten for us the reappearance of our master Sahib al Zaman so that he may bring goodness and justice to this world after it has been filled with evil and injustice. Oh